This is an intermediate tutorial about how to enhance a shot using a color ramp. So I have here a shot of some cars arriving at a cemetery before the sun is up. The problem is it's supposed to have this sort of pre-dawn serenity and beauty and mystery and the sky is just not doing anything very interesting. There's barely any gradation in the sky. And maybe I overexposed the shot a little bit, although this is probably the focus of the image. And that's, that's pretty much exposed right. It's just, it just doesn't say early morning. So here's what you can do to enhance it with a color ramp and make it a little more expressive. And by the way, at the end of this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a color ramp if you want to. Okay, so I'm going to start by copying this shot over here so we can oops, make a adjustments on a, on a copy. I have here some color ramps that I've already built. This is what they look like. Um, but before I get to those, I think the first thing I want to do is I just want to make a, some quick uh, exposure adjustments just by eye, just to get things looking a little more early morning. Um, I think we'll just bring the global exposure down a little bit. And um, the shadows are looking pretty good. They're touching zero, so and I'm not looking to crush them, so we'll leave those where they are. But I do think I'll pull the mids down quite a bit to give that sort of you know, sort of deep shadows in the in the dark spots in early morning. And um, I doubt we need to really no, we don't want to pop the highlights too much because again it's supposed to be early morning. And then uh, we'll choose a color ramp. We might as well use this one. It's just an image. It's just a PNG. We'll put it on top as a connected clip. But we'll choose a blend mode overlay. Okay, you can see what it's already doing here on the image. Then I'll copy, uh, option drag a copy of this on top. Go to my effects panel. Oops. And I'll, I'm going to drop a Luma key on it. Okay. And you can see what it's doing. It's, it's keying the bottom part, the darker part of the image. I want to key the sky, so I'm going to invert the key. Oh, it's already looking kind of nice. And maybe I'll make just a few adjustments in the upper layer. Although I don't think we have to do much. The mids might be a little out of control. I'll bring that maybe back just a little bit cut that about in half and um, because this is the bright part the upper part of the sky I might actually pop it up just a little bit great now let's go in and look at this Luma key for a second you have to be careful especially here I've got this foliage you know it it can start to look fake if you key too much okay so you got to keep it looking natural and organic I'm gonna. Uh, I'm actually gonna increase this a little bit to increase the effect. You see how this is increasing the effect. See how see how you can really lose the edges and look fakey. So just always keep an eye on that. I'm just gonna bring it up, maybe just a little bit, but then I'm gonna take it down in the mix. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna give me a little more of the effect, but it's gonna blend it overall so it still feels organic. Okay. So I still see the gradation, but it, it doesn't feel fake. So here's what I end up with. I've got a nice gradation in the sky here. Not losing any of the foliage. And that's far more interesting. Now, if you want to take more of the... Um, color ramp off of the car and the cemetery sign. You know, you can do that um, simply by, you know, rolling less. Like the more you, you see it gets colored, you can roll, you can, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But you know, in reality, it would be reflected in there a little bit. So I'm gonna leave it moderately rolled off. All right, so uh, I think that's a way more interesting shot, especially if you clean up the sound, add some early morning doves or something. I think it's going to be a really nice shot. And don't forget, this is what we started with. It just doesn't say early morning. 
So that's much more interesting. Here's how you make a color ramp. I will go to Google and search for sunset or sunrise, doesn't really matter. Click on images. And you don't have to have a high resolution for this. Um, you just have to find a sunrise or set that you like, the gradation of colors. That one's interesting. This was very interesting. And then just take that, if you like the gradation, save it. Okay. I'm going to quit out of my browser. I'm going to go over to Photoshop. I'm going to open what I just saved. Great. And I'm going to sample the colors. I'm going to sample this deep blue. I don't want it to be too blue. I don't want it to be too close to black. So you go to your eyedropper. Just choose something you like. I like something a little, a little dustier. Okay. And then I'm going to sample this orange. It's a very bright orange. Okay. I'm going to close out of that. And I'm going to uh, make a new um, image. I could do this at 4K, and it's probably a good idea to do so, but just I'm just going to do this at 1080p for the moment, 2K, because to be honest, I can't remember the exact dimensions of 4K. I have to look it up. I know it's 30-something. I can't remember. Anyway, 1920 by 1080 is, is 1080p or 2K. So I'm going to create a new layer. Oh, and that has to be at 72 DPI, of course. Create a new layer. Go to my gradient tool and hit the shift key to constrain a nice gradient. Um, I think I want to go the other way on this, actually, because I want the orange on top. So, great. I want maybe half and half, but a very smooth gradient, so I'm not doing a very good job here. Hmm. That's better. Ah, I see. That's pretty close to what I'm looking for. Maybe just a little more blue, but I want it smooth. Great. All right, save it as a PNG. Oops. Color ramp. Oops. PNG. What are we up to? Number six. Great, wait for that to save. Okay, quit out of Photoshop. Go to Final Cut. Import it. There it is. And then I could take this, copy it over. And I'll just replace this with the new color ramp. Replace. And then I got to go back and make sure it's on overlay. See how it looks. Ooh, that's nice, actually. I like that. That's very nice. Actually, that really works. Again, keep in mind, we started with this. Color ramp. 